all of us these days have smartphones they are all equipped with the uh, facebook twitter whatsapp all kinds of apps and uh, sometimes i can't handle i can't be without my phone so these smartphones have actually become an integral part of our lives as of jan there are 1 billion uh, mobile connections in this country of 1.25 billion there are 375 uh, million active users of the internet and 136 million of them are actually active users of social media just a brief look at the top social media platforms in india right now uh, facebook leads the pack which is followed by google plus uh, twitter and instagram and linkedin are at the same uh, level what i'm trying to say is internet access at this point in distant and remote areas of india is also becoming a reality uh, there is availability of regional languages on smartphones on social media even search engines so this makes it easier to access technology and this new tech savvy india which is accessing this technology is eager to express it wants to connect it wants to comment on a lot of different issues so right the time is right for us now to actually connect our younger generations with heritage so in brief this research aims to explore the scope of using internet as a medium to connect people with cultural heritage focus on various indian entities involved in heritage using the internet and digital technology and obtain a set of best practices used to promote cultural heritage using digital technology and internet based tools just a quick quote here by vikram doctor searching for traces of the past has never been easier thanks to the internet and we can track down stories and images of events people brands and places that invoke nostalgia this digital technology has made it possible for anyone who has access to digital tech to to the technology to be able to create to be able to share and to uh, publish about their heritage and share it with people around them and people across the globe so digital technology is accessible global social and it's also interactive at the moment uh, digital technology can be used uh, by various institutions individuals uh, even even the government and everybody who works in um, uh, heritage for uh, for engagement to to engage the to engage public to call for public participation to raise awareness about a certain cause or about their cause in uh, of related to heritage for tourism and for resulting into preservation of cultural heritage uh, i'll just look at a few examples here so the first example is a, uh, is something of public participation and awareness this is the indian pride project now this is a volunteer group they, and they are using social media and online activism to actually bring back uh, smuggled in uh, smuggled artifacts out of india so these all these uh, there have been a lot of artifacts that were smuggled out of india and they have actually built one of the largest volunteer sourced image archive of indian artifacts that are residing in auction houses and museums across the globe and their only tool at the moment that is social online activism the second example is of uh, a pune based uh, center for uh, center for development of uh, advanced computing now this is an app uh, it's a free android app that was launched in march uh, 2016 that helps uh, users learn the modi script so just a brief background on modi script uh, this was this is a cursive shorthand uh, of devanagari which was developed in the 13th century and has been used for uh, writing official marathi documents at least until the first half of the 20th century now this app is very interesting it let it lets users actually practice modi to learn uh, shorthand to learn shorthand short forms which were used in official documents and also to practice some basic words now the now cdacs aim is to actually promote heritage indian languages and this is a free app and it can be downloaded on all uh, android phones i think the next example is uh, of the of taj mahal and taj mahal is uh, using it largely for tourism and engagement of uh, public now this, uh, you can see the first uh, the first ever tweet 
made by Taj Mahal. Uh, there are two kinds of people in the world, those who have visited me and follow me here and those who haven't seen me and yet follow me here. So this has given actually a voice to a monument. Taj Mahal interestingly also was one of the first historic monuments to ever get a Twitter account. So uh, a lot of world uh, other historic monuments have followed and Taj Mahal has actually gone and from them to Twitter like the Eiffel Tower. This, this is the second last example, uh, Go UNESCO. Now this is a collection of many different projects and initiatives. So they have, uh, they have something called online travel challenges. They have social media campaigns. Uh, they have heritage runs, uh, student programs, and a lot, and actually many, I've just listed out a few here. So all of these, there is to make heritage more accessible and to everyone. And in some of their uh, initiatives, in, they, in fact, they have all, they're also engaging local communities. My last example is of the 1947 Partition Archive. Uh, this team is using technology to engage public, and I'll quote them here. Uh, they were, in their words, recording the people's history for the people and by the people. So they are, uh, they are actually gathering crowdsourced oral history recordings using um, using an online forum of the partition of India of 1947. So you can see in the map, they, these are the stories that they have collected and you can actually go and access them. You can share your stories or listen to stories that they have created. Uh, these are just few, uh, I've just selected five here. But the challenge that I have found uh, with the internet or digital technologies is that we need to be able to find and attract like-minded people to, to, to use this technology and um, not only just attract an audience but also to sustain it over a long period of time. So what I aim to study over the next one year is how different individuals, institutions and um, organizations in India are using digital technology to communicate with and to engage people with heritage. And at the end of my research, I would have created, I would like to create a detailed research paper highlighting the best practices used by these innovative institutions that are increasing awareness of heritage in a digital India.